Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Just today, Springfield is introducing another Hellcat. We know the Hellcat line. It's expanding quicker than we ever thought. Here's the original Hellcat. No OSP there. Optical sight pistol. Has a 3-inch barrel, adaptive grip texturing, 11 and 13 round mags, and a trigger that measures right at 5.5 pounds. Tritium front dot, U-notch rear sight. Great CCW gun. Really like the way that carries and the way it shoots. And then they came out with a flat dark earth model. This is an OSP optical sight pistol. Currently has a shield SMSC on there. Okay, for those who love red dots. And once again, the same features in flat dark earth. This currently has the 13 round mag. Love the way that looks and fires. Last year they came out with the RDP Rapid Defense Package. It has a 3.8 inch barrel with a self-indexing compensator to reduce muzzle rise and recoil. Same overall features except they added an ambidextrous thumb safety as an option and a Gen 2 trigger. Now I can't say that I noticed much of a difference with the Gen 2 trigger opposed to the originals. I I just haven't noticed much. Both five and a half pounds. But today Springfield is showcasing the new Hellcat Pro. Check that out. It's a larger Hellcat with a 3.7 inch barrel and 15 round mags. Comes with two 15 round mags and it is OSP, optical sight pistol. So it is optic ready. It currently has a hex wasp on there. 3.5 MOA, same red dot that the RDP has. But if we look at this, it does offer some advantages. Many people say, you know what, this is too small. It's too small. I can't, you know, control it as well as I'd like. Many of the Micro 9mm handguns, people say, you know, my hands are too large. This would be the ticket for them. Or if you want more control or even better accuracy with a 3.7 inch barrel. So if we look at the barrel compared to the 3 inch Hellcat on the right, you'll see that you're looking at right there. If that's lined up correctly, yep. And then if we look at the grip, you're looking at an additional four rounds with this setup okay 15 opposed to 11 but what about the 13 round mag we'll put the hellcat pro on the right get that out of the way and we'll see that the 13 round mag you're looking at that much of a difference all right not too much and the grip circumference feels the same you just get a a stronger grip on the gun it still has the adaptive grip texturing flush fitting 15 round mags but what they also have along with a two slot pick rail is a gen 3 trigger now i didn't i didn't see that coming and this one they shaved off basically they shaved off a half pound on the trigger pull so i am measuring this at five pounds even and it is a fine trigger with a reset I think it's it's really nice. It still has forward serrations, the nice grip texturing, U-notch rear sight, currently has a hex wasp on there, and then a tritium front dot. Sight hole indicator, and then the confidence that the Hellcat reputation has, has shown us throughout the years, uh, I think is very strong. Okay, so it's still a Hellcat. It, it has everything that we have come to know with the Hellcat in terms of the overall feel. A little more real estate on the grip to get a, get a firm grip, an additional uh, pick rail slot there, and a 3.7 inch barrel with 15 round mags. Now I know what you're wondering. You're saying, how much is that? Well, the MSRP without the red dot, if you it is it will come osp optical sight pistol and it'll have this plate right here installed you take that off and then you throw a micro red dot of your choice on there if it fits i'm really not sure every red dot's going to fit like like most optic ready handguns it has the certain models but i think it's pretty expansive with this but i like this uh, hex wasp it does have that tunnel right there so you can see straight through to your iron sight but back to the price 
we are looking at $634 MSRP. I have to believe it's probably going to sell for that initially, and then over time, it may drop. Who knows? But if we do a slide comparison with the RDP on the left with that compensator that sticks out a bit, 3.8 inch barrel, 3.7 inch barrel, but that compensator sticks out so it makes the slide length look quite a bit larger. I love the Hellcat line. I I am like super thrilled that they came out with this. I think they did a great job. Here is a black point holster that is a very nice kind of a camo look to it kydex holster that supports the red dot that will be available as well as other holster makers that are going to produce holsters but being that it is a larger gun let's take a look at the weight these will be initially unloaded weights let's start with the original hellcat without the red dot and we'll slap that on there and see that it is 18 and a quarter ounces with the 11 round mag 13 round mag 18 and a quarter ounces am i missing something here same weight should be a little bit heavier i would think rdp 19 and 5 8 right around 20 ounces there and then the pro the hellcat pro 20 and three quarters ounces that is not bad i I don't know, is it still a subcompact gun? Probably a compact size gun, but kind of feels subcompact. Here we have 15 rounds. We'll go ahead and throw that on there. You're looking at an even 27 ounces. And then we'll throw a carry round there. 27 and 3 eighths ounces. So it's under 30 ounces still. It still has all the features that we love that I love in particular with the Hellcat models. I think they're great. I really do. I, I really enjoy the Hellcat line. And they carry very well. This is not a heavy gun for a... I, I'm having trouble categorizing it. Is it a compact? Is it a subcompact? It's not a subcompact. This is a subcompact. So is that. This is, I would, I would say a compact. 3.7 inch barrel, 15 round mags. Higher capacity... And a nice looking, and I'm sure a nice shooting handgun. I'm going to take this out uh, shortly, I hope, and, and get to the range and put some rounds down range and sight in that red dot. And I, I think it's going to be great. I like the idea of the five pound trigger. I think that's a good, good improvement with the trigger. Although I didn't think the trigger could be improved that much originally. But 634 MSRP without the red dot. I think Springfield has another winner with the Hellcat Pro. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.